Hey, how's it going? Um, great video, as always. Um, very informative. Um, as you can tell, I'm missing October 1st. Our trip was great. You know what? I'm actually off to Morocco now, and I'm really excited. Got the passports ready and everything. Let's get this video done before I fly to Morocco. <laughs> Next week, my video will be unedited, and I'm going to have to do it in one take because I'm going to be in Morocco, and I don't know how bad the internet's going to be, so I might not even manage to upload it until maybe Friday. But hopefully, I'll be able to get it done for you on, on time. First thing I wanted to talk about, mate, we've been talking a lot about um, the Filet Lander. Um, a good thing has come out of this, and it's called Lunar Mission 1. It's, there's a Kickstarter uh, campaign going at the moment. Um, it's got 21 days left, and it's always at, already at, I think, over half of what they're asking for. I'm definitely going to donate. I think this is a great thing. Um, I think space brings us all together and makes us realise how small we are. We're like a little tiny bubble of ants in the middle of a huge dark ocean, um, so I think it's great that we're looking around at other bubbles and trying to see where we can go with that. Uh, it's great, it's, it's exciting. Find out the origins of the Earth, the, like the whole of the solar system. It, they're also going to put a time capsule there and depending on how much money you pay, you can actually like give a bit of DNA if you want, if you're that crazy, like, I don't know, a bit of blood. <laughs> uh, also, or you can put like your name or give them whatever and they, they're going to bury it on the moon. I don't know when the opening day is, but it's pretty cool. At the minute, Ollie, I don't know if I've told you, uh, I am learning how to computer program, and it's really, really good. Um, I'm hoping to get really good at it. Um, using a website called Code Academy. Now, check it out. I'll link it in the description. I think it's worth um, learning, especially as you work for a software company. It's really good. At the minute, I'm just doing HTTP and a bit of uh, CSS, and that's just how to like display web pages and how the layout is and everything. But it's very good and very simple way of walking you through. But it brings me to my next story, Ollie. I don't know if you've heard of um, SQL. Now, I personally haven't learnt it yet, um, but there's going to be a huge error with it. It's going to be like Y2K, everything's going to crash, and this is going to happen in 2079. Don't worry, um, most things will have been upgraded by then, and the only machines running it will pretty much be in museums. But this is also going to happen in 2038, um, with all pro programs running C. Um, what it is, is basically there's an issue, it's both very similar but just in different languages. They've run out of ways of um, expressing the date or something like that. Um, so when it goes to 2038, it doesn't go to 2038, it backdates to two, uh, 1901 uh, for some reason. I'm not really sure and I don't know how to explain it that well because I've only just started coding myself. But it's basically something to do with running out of elements. Um, but yeah, so... Again, C is already, there's already C plus and C plus plus, so it, they're going to be fine. So it's just like old programs, so it may be in museums. A really cool thing I wanted to um, tell you about, and you mention women a lot and their rights in your videos, and I think you'll like this, is Ched Evans is a guy who played for Sheffield Wednesday, um, I believe the football team, and um, he went to jail for two years for raping a woman. Uh, he came out and Sheffield Wednesday told him that, they, that he could train with them again. Now, the power of the people got together, a petition was brought out, I signed it, I don't know if you signed it, um, but I signed it and I love these petitions and basically they said, no, he's just training with us at the moment and then we'll see how he goes because I think they were going to sign him again, uh, which was ridiculous because this guy hadn't even apologised for what he'd done, he showed no remorse. The petition people then got together and said, right, let's get onto their sponsors. So they got onto like one of their local sponsors and also to Adidas. And then basically what's happened now is they released a couple of statements saying, well, he's not playing with them. If he gets signed, then we'll drop them. Um, but Shuffle Wednesday have just gone, okay, this has obviously caused too much negative feedback. And Ted Evans is gone. He's not even allowed to train with them. So that is good uh, news for women all over. Is that You can't get away with rape. Um, and then just carry on with your glamorous football life. It's brilliant. The last thing I want to talk about, Ollie, is there's a thing, a Japanese company, that are making an underwater city, or plan to anyway. I think it's like something like 2024. Uh, I'll post a link in the description. There's like plans and stuff. It's all very futuristic. This is the same company that wants to also do a solar panel ring around the moon. They're all very futuristic things, but they're very rich, so I think it's a good thing that someone with lots of money is actually using it. Uh, to do good things rather than Walmart, as you say. So good luck to the workers there. That's everything, Ollie. I've got to rush it today because um, I've got to edit it and then I'm flying. Well, not flying, but going to fly. <laughs> so yeah, great, Ollie. I'll see you Saturday. And like I say, hopefully next Wednesday I'll have a video for you. Um,
I will have a video for you. Um, I'll find a way. If it, it might be terrible though, um, so <laughs> bear with me. See you later, mate. That's everything worth knowing. Stay positive and spread the love.